Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon. So I want to do this video real quick where I want to explain as to why it's totally unnecessary to, you know, for Disney to continue making remakes. I mean, granted, to be fair here, I don't like remakes as a whole because I feel that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let it let it be. If it's meant to be a certain way, leave it alone. Don't change a thing. So I know some people might be thinking that okay, they could just do a more modern day update and just give maybe some details about some characters and just do a more something with more a better special effects or whatever you still no no if the if something's intended to be a certain way don't bother with it so it just comes off like a lot of people just going to see these movies just because of nostalgia like for example more recently the those the Lion King remake a lot of people went to see that movie just because they have fond memories of it when they were a lot younger. And that's literally it. Does the film really need to be made? No. I mean, the original Lion King did get a few sequels. And a television, I believe, which I have not seen yet. But, yeah, television series. But for the sequels, there were, the sequels were a little, eh, uh, wishy-washy. But even then, he did not. He didn't need the sequels. Okay, sure. To be fair, he didn't need the sequels, nor the animated series. But whatever, I guess. So, yeah. Again, just so you know, I did not see the Lion King remake. Would I see it? Uh, I guess if somebody buys it for me, I guess, or if I get it used, out of spite. But and then they plan to do the. I know they recently released the live action version of Aladdin and yeah, this remake I have not seen yet but I really don't plan to really because it's just all these films just comes off really soulless like they have no point really from what I heard yeah, the live action remake of Tarzan is coming up and they apparently have an actor as well and I really don't want to hear it really I really don't want to see it at all. And Disney already remade the Jungle Book twice. Yeah, seriously, we just make everything more unnecessary. Still plan to remake the Tinkerbell film, which really doesn't make any sense considering the fact that they st stated that they had stopped making the animated features because the later movies. The later sequels weren't selling that well, neither was the merchandising, yet they were going to remake it anyway. That don't make sense. 101 Dimension movie, where we got a remake, and I really didn't like that either. The Little Mermaid remake, which I really don't watch either. And, on top of that, I know the Dumbo remake was released on Blu-ray, which I have not seen yet. And then recently, I know they also did the. Um, oh yeah, the, oh yeah, yeah. They announced that it's official. They are, gonna, they are gonna do the Mulan remake, which I've already discussed in my one of my previous videos. So yeah, there was the Beauty and the Beast remake, which I didn't like at all. The Beauty and the Beast live action version definitely had to be one of the most boring films I've ever seen. And I didn't like it. One of my problems I had with the Beauty and Beast live action version is that I kind of felt that it, it over explained everything. It, it needlessly explained every little thing. Do the viewers really need to know how this camera was made? No. And how about how this. You know, headset was made. No, and I kind of felt like trying to give a like a explanation, like an, some sort of backstory to like every little thing. 
which I thought was needless. Case in point, it's like, okay, this match that gets a backstory. Oh, maybe this hammer thing gets a backstory. Maybe as well this thing gets a backstory. And maybe this the gun we get a backstory. This little round thing gets a backstory. This gets a backstory, of course, this the screwdriver thing. This pencil gets a backstory. This, you know, staple thing gets a backstory or whatever. Hey, what next? What's next? This pin gets a backstory. That sounds boring. That's how it felt about the Beauty and the Beast uh, live action version where it came off like they overly explained every little thing. Do, do the viewers really need to know every single detail on how it, the uh, Enchanted Castle works? No. Kind of ruins the mystique of it. You know, it kind of make it mysterious in some sense. And I felt that the um, the only reason they remade Beauty and the Beast is just because the original Beauty and the Beast film received a lot of criticism. Okay, criticism. I put quotation marks around it because it just comes off nitpicking because they felt that, you know, Belle had some sort of mental disorder or whatever. And then in the live action version, they're trying to explain that away as to, oh, she's just her own person. She doesn't have no mental disease. Uh, Disability or whatever, and I just want to come off like I also explain that she's not being enslaved. You know, they, they just cave under pressure. I, I felt that Disney just cave under pressure. I'm trying to explain this, explain that, explain this, explain that, explain this, and explain that, and explain every little thing to give more of a part of context, which is asinine. At the end of the day, it just came off like Disney was just kissing their ass. And it pays me to say that because I like Disney. I like the films. Well, most of the time, anyway. So, the same thing can be said for uh, the the two live-action versions of Cinderella. They, they made two. Yeah, uh, the original Cinderella was remade twice. Once it was bad enough, but... Uh, get, the first one came out like somewhere into the late 1990s with Brandy the singer. And I feel like they, they just cave into pressure as well. They're trying to make it seem like, oh, we're not racist. Here you go. Because a lot of people in the past had accused Disney for being racist. Which of course isn't true, but them doing these moves like that puts me in an awkward position because it's making it as if you're trying to have like a multi racial thing. Which I thought doesn't make any sense, really, because it really didn't amount to nothing. I mean, if you want to have, like, a, a Marte cultural thing going on in a movie, fine. Go for it. But don't make it seem like you're just doing it just to shut people up. That's stupid. I think for the second remake they did, if I remember correctly, it came out in 2015, which was, like, what, a few years back? That one was even worse. The 2015 remake of Cinderella was worse than the 1990s version because I mean, okay, the at the end of the day, I know the no one from 1990, the remake of Cinderella from 1990s. At the end of the day, it's harmless, you know. It's it's cheesy. It's very very cheesy. It, that's all. At the end of the day, that's all it really was a cheesy hollow movie. But. Okay, but the more recent live-action version was even worse because there were so many plot holes. And again, it's to feel like, oh, let's have a strong woman. Let's 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 sort of make sure she's independent, or whatever. And if if Cinderella can leave the castle whenever she feel like it, why did she ever bother returning? If her um, stepmother stepmother is going to be such an asshole. I don't know. Just again, it's, I feel like that Disney was just caving in because they kept saying that Disney's sexist, Disney hates women, blah 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 blah. 
So, what you know, of course, is not true. Disney is not sexist. But I feel like they're trying to just cave in into, under pressure and try to make a, a strong woman. Uh, she's strong willed or whatever. She's ha she wants to her freedom and such. Come on. I feel like a lot of these remakes are just done to counter criticism towards the original films. So they try to fix it the more um with the more updated versions. So it's like give me a break. You can't undo the past, you know that, right? So yeah, don't get me wrong, I like Disney on all folks. I enjoy Disney films. But that does not prevent me from criticizing the work. I mean actual criticism. And I know they made the uh, Spain of uh, Strong Women. Uh, the live action remake of Addison Wonderland. Directed by uh, directed by Tim Burton. That was terrible. And then what's got a sequel, Addison Through the Looking Glass, if I remember correctly. Which was awful. And I know and the new trend I guess this goes in I guess this goes in the new trend of filmmaking nowadays. You always have to have every single female character be like some sort of warrior. I find that kind of odd. Not every single warrior, not every single female lead needs to be this 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 warrior uh, woman. Just, there's other ways you can do express strong what women. There's other ways you can do it. Just anyway, the, anyway, it just felt like. It's just needless. And why can't they just create something that's more original? That's more different? I mean, there's plenty of books. There's hundreds of thousands of books that the script writers can look into and create a brand new princess. And you know Disney wants to create more princesses. And I think they should. They really should. I mean, okay, that could... I mean, I mean okay, that right there could be a, a totally... De uh, another video unto itself, I guess, but yes, Disney, make more princesses instead. Make brand new princess characters. Because why not? Anyway, I guess that'll be it for now, folks. Blah, 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 blah. So, as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Until next time. Oh, yeah.